I had an experience the other day that I feel like I just got to share with somebody. Somebody, I know there is somebody out there that's going to appreciate hearing this. So, for the first time ever, I microdose intentionally to go play a sport, right? I got invited to go play basketball with my boys. I am no professional athlete, okay? You're watching somebody speak who's not a professional athlete, right? I, I, I just play, I know how to play ball. I've been playing ball all my life, right? I play pickup games in the park like, like anybody else that that is a pickup baller, right? So, I got invited to play ball for Thanksgiving with my boys and for some reason I said to myself, you know what? I haven't seen my boys in so long. Like I want to, you know, and I was feeling good. Usually if I ever microdose, you know, I, I, I do it whenever I'm like, um, whenever I have like a, you know, good, they say you got to do it, you know, with the, um, you got to have a good headspace. You know, I was feeling good that day. It was Thanksgiving. I was going to see my boys that I don't get to see that often. So I did a little micro, you know, before I went to play ball and, my experience, I was like, yo, I got to tell somebody about it. So here it is. So it was probably like 30 minutes before I got to the court that I decided I'm going to take this, right? When I say micro, it's probably like a little point three or something like that, you know, a small amount. And maybe point four, I'm not sure, you know. I got to the point where sometimes I just break a little piece off, you know, I'm guessing here. But it was definitely enough to feel the effects of it. If you know, if you've ever taken micros or, or if you haven't, you know, you're here to learn, you're here to, I guess, learn. Um, but if you have, you know, you get this little feeling, you know, that you know it's having an effect on you, like a little tingly feeling. Some people can control this, some people get... Um, What's it called? Anxiety from it. But like others, you know, you just breathe through it, right? And 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 and, and you let the, the 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 medicine have the effect that it's having on your body. So I took it 30 minutes before uh, my boy, my friend, he came to pick me up. My friends came to pick me up. Me and my brother were getting picked up from a friend of ours. We went to the court, right? And like um court wasn't too far away the basketball court was probably like i don't know 10 minutes 20 minutes away i just know that 30 minutes from the moment i took the micro i was playing ball i was playing basketball and i guess i should mention in case somebody's watching that's never taken micro that that's about how much time from my experience that it it usually takes to have an effect on you depending on you know your stomach how much you ate you know if you eat a lot of food like it, it takes longer or or the dose that you have to eat a higher dose because you ate food or me i feel like i took it on an empty stomach i think i took it on an empty stomach um i usually do and and um it, it had it, its effect on me like 30 minutes i was on the court i'm playing ball and i remember I remember we were playing like a little warm-up pickup game, right? It was like a three-on-three, four-on-four, something like that, and half court. And I remember that I was playing, and I remember I said to I said to these guys, I said, "Hey, whoever." Okay, now I remember. So what happened? I'm sorry, guys. Bear with me right here. I'm driving and I'm trying to remember this, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So. When we got there, we saw some guys in the court. We were like, we're going to play against them. We have enough people. So we used another court and we played a small little warm-up pickup game amongst ourselves, you know, to 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 just warm up, right? And nobody knew, by the way, no one, none of my friends knew that I was on this on this um, microdose. You know, it's not something that I just freely ran out and said, hey, everybody, I'm, I don't use this medicine like that. I use it differently, you know? Um, again, I used it with intention, like... I intentionally use this to go out there and be active, right? Just to ex just to experiment, really, because I know the effects that it's had on me with other things, like when I go work and stuff like that. So I was like, I, I, I'm curious to know what's gonna happen here, you know? So so I'm on the court and I say to these guys while we're warming up, I say I feel bad for these guys. I feel bad for these guys that we're about to go play right now, and like nobody was really understanding what I was saying. 
and it's okay, you know, because we all talk smack on the court. You know, you're like, oh, you know, I feel bad. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do that. You know, you're about to be great. You know, you just, I, I'm just, maybe I'm that type of person. I don't know, you know, give myself that confidence, that boost. And, 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 and we're balling, we're warming up and I'm shooting and I'm feeling this feeling where I'm just like, wait, hold on now. You know, like I, I'm really good. I made like two, three shots back to back. Uh, from the three point, you know, we're warming up. My dribble, um, everything was just feeling good. Like I was feeling bouncy. My body was feeling healthy, you know. And mind you, I'm no professional athlete. I just play pickup every now and then. I have a kid now, so like I, it's not like I, I'm not on the court all the time, okay? Like usually and i'm 30 like i'm older so like my body usually it feels a little more like oh man we're getting older kind of thing those are the conversations we're having with my friends you know with our friends every time we meet up for a thanksgiving um ball like we're like yo it's funny you know we're getting older our body can't take it but i was feeling different that morning i was like i was feeling like oh snap like i feel like i did when we were 18 guys like well i'm young man like i feel like so i'm shooting and and, and, and I'm noticing not only am I feeling good, I'm shooting good. These shots are going in. And mind you, anybody can have just a good day, you know, or a good morning, whatever it is, go to warm up. Like, people are good naturally, right? I'm just, again, sharing my experience. I was feeling different. I was feeling good. I was feeling sharp. All my movements were feeling so, uh, what's the word? Like, all my movements were flowing so well. I was playing better than I usually do. There's some people that I'm always like wishing I could, like, man, how does he do that? How does he have that agility, have that speed and that awareness and that coordination and, and you know, for the shot to go in, right? For people that play basketball, you know, really you could probably relate this to any sport, right? Whatever sport you play, like, whatever movement you're used to doing, it, it, it just all it was flowing so well. I was, I'm sorry, I keep doing this because I'm, you know, that's how you bounce. I'm bouncing the ball. I said that to these guys. I said, hey, guys, I feel bad for these guys. So then we get on the court, right? And man, when I say, like, okay, it's just hard to even explain this to you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make it short because I got to be at work in seven minutes. So I can't, I'm not going to go any longer than that. But I just want to say this to say, yo, try this shit. Excuse my language. Try this, please. Intentional. Do it intentionally. If you're watching this, right? You're watching this, by the way, being spoken from someone who is not a professional athlete. This is just somebody who's, you know, a weekend baller of once a month, one, once every two months, once every three months, really. Maybe once a, every four months. I have to be honest. I don't, I haven't played that often as I did when I, you know, when I was younger. I used to play all the time. I'm still young, but like lately right now where I'm at in my life for the past five years, I have not been playing like I did when I was a teenager where I used to play all the time. But that's what's crazy about the, 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 the effects I was having. It's, it was almost like everything was just connecting. Everything was returning. And I was so good, man. I, my Also, another thing that was shocking me is my... Um, I mean, usually I'm a runner. That's what I do do, right? I'm, I'm active. I run a lot. So my endurance and my stamina, uh, I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and say like, oh, you know, it gave me more stamina. Which it probably could have, but my stamina is always great. So like, I feel like I'm good with that. I'm just talking about like the neural connections that I feel were being made while I was on that court shooting, stealing, being aware of the ball, being aware of people. Um, you know, I was playing defense. Like I was just so my passes were so on point. Like I did a full court pass. Somebody, I think we stole the ball full court uh, fast break, whatever it's called. And my pass, everything was just so on point that I was just like, damn, like, should this be tested? Like, should, should this be, like, experimented? Like, are some athletes taking this? I don't know, man. I don't know. Just making this video just to share with you guys my experience. And I had a great one. Shit. I had, I had a very good one. Like, I think that it just all together 
if I had to say what I think it did, right? I'm no scientist either, so bear with my words, how I'm gonna put this, but I, I just mentioned neural connections. I feel like there was no doubt in my actions. My brain just knew. So as far as like, when I say actions, I mean like your movements, a pass, a shot, a dribble. There was no uh, lag in it. There was no, um, it, it's almost like my brain, everything I've ever worked on, um, everything, I, all my movements, my memory bank, and, and along with like how you express it with your, within movement, really, you know, your pass, your, you know, from, from down to like the flick of the wrist, like everything seemed like it was perfectly placed every time abnormally too. I say abnormal because usually when I play ball, you know, I make a little bit of mistakes, you know, I'll dribble palm and hit my leg, you know, goes out of back. Like I'll make little mistakes since I'm, I'm not a pro. I don't do this every day. So like, I was just so shocked at how good I was playing. And 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 to like kind of like solidify the help that this gave me in being active the other day i got two more minutes and i gotta be at work guys i'm just gonna try to make this part quick the other day i said yeah i gotta try this in but i wasn't playing basketball this time i went out for a run like i said i like running that that is what i do do normally i do that a few times a week I took a, uh, a micro dose for the first time for a run. I did it one day, something spectacular happened, mind blowing, and then I did it a second time. So now three times ever, I've taken a, a, a micro dose intentionally for an activity, an active outdoor activity. The first one was basketball, and the second two were, um, were going out running. When I went to run the first time I took it, I ran to run three miles and I ran a time that I have not ran in those three miles. The three miles I ran it in a time that I have not ran in at least four or five years. My, my, um, my seconds per mile were, are usually in the eight minute range and this time around my seconds per mile dropped down to the seven minutes i was running seven minute miles and i ran three seven minute miles back to back i think i got like 23 minutes and 20 some seconds or something like that um but i have never i haven't ran an under a 24 minute three miles in in i, I can't remember how it's been like four or five years i had to go through my database my running app where i run where i keep track on how long ago I haven't done this. And then it happened again the second time I went running. Like I said, I took it three times so far intentionally for an active outdoor activity. The, the, the first one was basketball. The second two were running. Um, I haven't tried it again with basketball, but I, I will. Shoot, maybe I'll come back here and share it with you guys. But the second one was running and I ran an even faster time. I ran a time that I haven't seen since maybe like around high school. So... I say all this to say, yo, I had a really cool experience micro-dosing psilocybin, mushrooms, whatever you want to call it, um, and playing sports, right? So just throwing that out there, just, just throwing it out there. I wanted to share it with somebody. I know somebody was going to want to hear this because people get curious. I got curious. I tried it. I loved it. I fucking loved it. My body, my body, you know, obviously I love it for what it does for my body too. You know, you're getting better. I guess it means overall better health. Um, I guess it means, you know, just using your body, you, this machine, you're using it better, which is pretty cool to me. So just sharing this with you guys. If you guys have any questions for me, Feel free to contact me. My Instagram is take a deep breath right now. Um, or just sh shoot the questions in the comment section. Let's discuss this, guys. If you've ever tried this before, let me know how it's gone for you. Um, maybe I'm not the only one out there. So I hope to hear 
what you guys have to say about this. All right, later, over and out.